This week's sermon is probably quite a familiar passage to many of us. It's about the community of Jewish believers in Jerusalem straight after that first sermon at Pentecost. And what we hear about is how, because of the way that they live their lives, many people were being added to their number every single day. And although this is a very, very familiar passage to us, it has also got some challenges. So on Sunday, we thought about devotion to the Lord, devotion to his word, and devotion to God's work in the world. So firstly, devotion to the Lord. So in looking at devotion to the Lord, I talked about being devoted and committed to the word. So we thought about our own attitude to the Bible. Do we value it and are we eager to read it and learn from it? And then we thought about being devoted to worship. So how much do we value the privilege of taking communion? And do we also recognise and remember that worship isn't just for Sunday? It's actually a way of life. And then thinking about um, being devoted to prayer. So prayer is such an amazing privilege. And do we take opportunities to pray whenever we can? So opportunities both as individuals and as a community. So that was devotion to the Lord. And then we thought about devotion to his people. And we thought about our attitude to our possessions. Do we believe that everything that we have comes from God? And do people see that belief reflected in our lives? We also thought about the importance of life groups. And um, it, it, that's a place where we can be genuine community, where we can share together, where we can support one another, where we can pray for one another as we grow together in our faith. And then finally, we thought about devotion to the Lord's work in the world. So as those first disciples lived out their lives in community, we're told that the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. So witness and evangelism were things that just happened because of their intentionality in the way that they lived out their life. And do we live like that? Do we live out our lives with such a sense of calling to, to how we can best serve Jesus within our community, within our day-to-day -day lives? So those three things really, devotion to the Lord through devotion to his word, to worship and to prayer, devotion to God's people and devotion to his work in the world. So let's pray that we will all be equipped to rise to this challenge as we seek to serve Jesus and to grow as his disciples.